Hey, good afternoon all. I am going to do an acrylic drag pour with these colors and they are mixed colors. This is uh, acrylic. These I get from AC Moore Primer Premier acrylic colors. And this one also the Palmer paints. I figured let me use them. I you know, I have them. Why not use them? And these are pretty good because a lot of times they come very thin. You don't have to thin them out at, at all. And I already have a pre-pouring uh, medium here that I have. Pre-pour. And this one too. Pouring medium white. So those are the colors I'm going to use for this canvas. Let me uh, shake the white really good. And make sure that it is good. Oh yeah, that's a pretty white. It looks like it's nice and thin and good to use. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Very good. So, these I have to pour. Well, this one is ready too. Let me see. My black and white pouring mediums, I usually, I mean, my, my pour for my black and white, I usually do them way before time. This one needs a little bit more of a a boost here. So I got some Lotro with water here, which I will pour in there. I'm just going to show you how I do my mixing, some of my mixing. Mm -hmm. That's good. See, that's what I like to see. When it's dropping right off, let's see. Oh yeah. Let's give it a little bit more shape. So the black and white is ready. These are not ready. These I have to pour my uh, pouring medium, which I have all in here. See, I put 70% of Floetro, 30% of glue, almost glue. So you got to shake it good because no matter what, sometimes the glue gets a little sticky and you get little globs. So I just fill the cup right till it covers all the paint. See, it covers all the paint. See this piece of glue? You see how it gets? You have to be careful with that because that could fall in the paint. You don't need that. Now I'm going to stir it, stir it, stir it. I don't have the big stirs, so I have to use these tiny ones that I have for my tiny little cups. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. You see what I told you about this color? It's like always ready. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Nice. All right. And this one, let me see. Orange. Because the orange is the same make, the same company. So they usually mix very well, very easily. So I keep my pouring mediums for a couple of weeks, not long. The most I've noticed a month to month. I used to keep all those bottles, but I kind of stopped doing that. Because someone told me it's not good, I don't know. So anyway, this is good. Now let's see this one. This is the one, the yellow. It's from a different company. It may be a little thicker. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, you see? It's thick. Oh. Let me put a little flow troll with water. That's why I keep this bottle flow troll with water nearby. So I can squeeze in little by little. Mm -hmm. Let me see if you can see everything I'm doing. Oh yeah. I can see my big fat butt too. I'm only kidding. <laughs> so guys, I've been a little confused. Because I don't know if you heard my video before this one. My friends and nobody could find me on YouTube. So I'm very confused about that. Okay, so I'm going to put like a few drops of Pantene in these. Two, three, four, five. And I'm going to put Dimethicone on the other two. So I want to change it around so that I can have a different one. Two. Three. 
you don't want to put too much oil and then you have your your painting will be flying off the canvas maybe this is too much i don't know it looks like a little that's yeah, good um and now you see this this is a dura clean from deco art ultra matte it's a matte varnish and it's good because it gives your painting shine and it's to me it works like the gat eight you get no cracks in your paint gives it a little shine before you put your gloss on it so i just put a little bit in each of the paintings a little bit very little not a lot and mix it in there I think I should have put the, uh, I did it the wrong way. I was supposed to put the oil last, the silicone. Mm hmm Lesson learned. Here we go. But, uh, I could always squeeze a little bit more in there. These doesn't matter because these I didn't put. The black and the white, I don't put any silicone in it. I'm going to put just a drop. There. Maybe overdoing it. But, uh, okay, here we go. We're going to mix all the colors together. Usually I drop the white first. Not all of it, some of it. Then I drop orange. I mean, you don't have to do it in this order. You can do it in whatever order you want. Uh -huh. Then you want to put the yellow in there. Pink. I've done this color before. Now I'm going to do the, the black. Now the black, I don't want a lot, so I have to be careful with the black. And now I'm going to start again with the colors. The rest of the white. Maybe orange. Mm -hmm. And this cup is too small. And the pink. And the yellow. This is going to pop right over. Ah, not good. Maybe I'll mix these together and keep them on the side in case if I need more paint. You never know, you always could use more paint when you run out. It's always good to have some more paint on the side. a little blast of this so it could uh, kind of sponge up do something there because I don't see it doing anything like that one <laughs> yeah this one is just stained still so probably good for a ribbon that's about it all right let's pour some into another cup because this is a lot yeah it's a lot it's too much for one canvas so this canvas is supposed to be white. I already messed it up with all these different colors on it. That's right, cool. I wonder if I should use my napkin holders or I should just use a cup and do the drag tool with the cup. I'm going to do it with the cup. I've been doing it with a cup like this. It's been coming out pretty good. Just got to remember to lift your cup. Mm -hmm. If you don't lift your cup, your paint comes nowhere. Mm -hmm. This paint is kind of stuck. Uh, 
<clears throat> this is a good back paint, back background paint. It's by Benjamin Moore. And it's the semi-gloss white, acrylic white. That's what I like about it, that it's, it gives it a shine. Even if you don't do a coating of a varnish on it, it still comes out really good. So anyway, guys, to happier times. Thank you for all my new subscribers, and I just keep getting new subscribers and likes. I still need to, I, I still need a thousand subscribers. Gee, that's a lot. But I can't believe I have 15,000 viewers. So you mean there's 15 nosy people in this world, but nobody would want to subscribe to me? That's sad. That's not good. <laughs> they just want to see my work and leave. <laughs> Especially people in the medical field, they're not going to stay over here and watch all this stuff. They got work to do. I mean, I say that because I was in the medical field so many years. Most of my friends are medical people, so. Uh -huh. Alright, guys, this is not going yeah, away that easily. I'm going to put a cup right there. Flip cup, here we go. Mm -hmm. That one came out a little bit, not a whole lot, but that's okay. Just spread that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. There we go. These are beautiful colors. These are the colors I wanted. Maybe a little bit more white. The white didn't come out that much in that one. But we'll see. Maybe it'll come out on this one. Ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful colors. Yeah, I know I picked the right colors. Beautiful colors I got here. I wanted to use these colors because I used them before. If you look at video number, wow, what video number was it? I think it was 122. I have the same exact colors on 122. So you'll see them there. Mm -hmm. I love that this came out like an orange pink and this one came out like a dark green and black. Different colors. It's very really nice. Versatile. Let me uh, give it a little hit with some brushing here. Where's my little that's my knife. The one I use for scraping here. I've been doing this a lot. I like those little squiggles. <laughs> oh, you see my paintings, I got squiggles everywhere. Yeah, this one got messed up. I'm gonna just put some white in there. Unless I leave it and just do this. Yeah. Let them kind of cross each other. Okay. I love this color. It's so beautiful. Okay. 
guys i'm gonna give it a torch <clears throat> and that'll be it because not much more i want to do to this Right, it does look like a little monster. <laughs> ah, I'm happy with it. It looks cute. Look at that a cutesy thing. Shit, I burned the heck out of my hand. All right. All right. I'm uh, gonna give you a close up, guys, and that will be it for today. I hope you guys are happy. So guys, uh, keep subscribing, please. Bring friends on and uh, I'll keep painting. Let me sh show you the outcome of this one. Mm -hmm. Look at all those cells. How beautiful is that? I love this color, it's gorgeous. Very nice color together, all together. The last time I used this, I put a lot more white so it came out more like that, that right there uh, you can see video number 122 and you'll see for yourself mm -hmm. sorry for the light glare too much light in this room it really is a lot of lights everywhere in this basement that's why I did a whole bunch of squiggly there let me get rid of that and just put white in that corner. Yeah, I might just brush that off. Could do that. You can do whatever you want to your painting to make it what you really want it to be. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that this just sells everywhere and the colors are amazing. I gotta cover those corners, you see, they're not covered. I gotta cover those with the white. So, you know, I'll do all that while I'm off. And that's it, guys. Love you all. Have a great week. What's left of it? One more day to Friday. Yay! Love you all. Goodbye.